Good afternoon, everyone. This is Hetty slash Heather from Twitter land, from Facebook land, from a little bit of everywhere land. Um, I have two, obviously, like I always say, um, Twitter accounts. The one I'm mostly on and converse most with is Alive and Me. It was my first. And um, my other one is Epilepsy Cures, and that's just to look and search and reach for people who also have epilepsy. Um, obviously, you all know I've had it uh, 32 years of my life um, and just went through my third <laughs> and final brain resection. And it was just amazing because it was done awake. And that was just absolutely phenomenal. Um, I'm so glad that God made me just, I don't even word that one, clueless. <laughs> but, you know, just, I've always been one who's just happy and thrilled and willing and excited to do all these just things that you should be really fearful of. But um, I just lay back and I'm just excited for it all. You know, back when I was a kid, I was this gymnast and never thought that I'm going to fall and, you know, break my bones. And even when I did, um, I get back up and I'd be doing it again. And if I even did it again, I'd get back up and I'd be excited to go again. That's just the clueless Heather. I'll call it back then. And now it's the full of faith Heather. So um, he has amazing plans for us all. And... You know, the amazing thing is, is that so long in our lives, we have these awesome plans, yet they don't always seem to fold out because in all realization of it all, those aren't Jesus's plans for us. And through everything, I didn't know, you know, Jesus for a long time. And so I had my own plans here and my own plans there, my own goals here. And then a lot of it, actually, I, I really didn't have any great focuses and um, clues as to where I really wanted to go in life. You know, I had all these wonders, maybe this is it, maybe that's it. And then, of course, I just got struck, you know, when I was pregnant, just struck by this, you know, illness of my seizures worsening that um, even if I had my own plans, they were altered. And so, you know, it put a great big halt on everything for a long time and then with so many different things going on that honestly was like the last thing ever really in my mind <laughs> um, I just had so much going on between you know epilepsy being just so severe a little girl in my life to take care of and after my ex and I going through so much tragic cases that you know we were no longer when she was so tiny that, you know, I had to really, like, lift my head and search as to what, what am I here for? And through it all, I shook my head asking, how do I get better so I can find what am I here for? And that's, like, the coolest thing is that he's really guided me, but it took a long time. So everybody out there at whatever age... You know, it's not about time. It's just about his time, his plan. When it folds out, it's like we get so impatient. And I'm thankful that I had something else to be focusing on as opposed to impatience as to what do I want to do? Who do I want to be? Where should I go? How many classes should I take? And I need to do it now because my focus, it couldn't be on that. My focus had to be on getting well figuring out how to get me well for years <laughs> between, you know, psychologically I was very strained. I was, I was very strained because of everything I went through with my ex and um, the beating and everything. And so with epilepsy, that didn't help and it turned to overdosing and I had to get through that, which was, which was awesome in a very strange case because it helped me find Jesus. And so with that, you know, um, he helped me walk through change of medications, but it enhanced my seizures because I quit the medication that cured my seizures after my first brain surgery. 
went to second one. That one didn't only but accept one medication to work, which made me sicker, sicker, sicker than a dog. So, you know, during all those years, you know, I'm building my relationship with my now husband and, you know, had an awesome marriage and just watched him work these wonders that kept me off the focus of what do I do, what do I do, what do I do? And, you know, I'm watching my little girl grow up and loving Jesus at such an extent that was unbelievable at such a young age. And I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted because, you know, I never knew about him at her age. <laughs> Granted, I didn't know about him until I heard it at 19 and uh, rejected it, but didn't, you know, hear of him until I was 19. And so it's just like, wow, to hear your little girl bringing people to Jesus, it's like, wow. So these things were just such blessings. They were so amazing. And I wasn't sitting here worrying about what to be when I grow up. And I took all that strife and all those years, I was seeing my psychologist, who is just amazing, Dr. Sari Roth Roman, who honestly, the cool thing is, is that she's Jewish. And yet we still had such a great connection and she would listen to my faith and she would still go on and ask me, are you praying? Are you going to Bible study? Are you going to church? Are you, you know, fellowship? She just was so awesome because she would know if I was ever having a fallback. That was my answer to make things better for the most part, you know, that I could take care of as opposed to, you know, medication until the next step was figured out by my doctors. And so that was amazing. And through it all, that was my answer finally in the midst of, well, I'm sorry, in the end of all of the years of seeing her. That was the answer. I, I love, I'm such a speaker. Um, I'm a people person. I'm one who's always loved to help others, and then all the, even with all the stuff that came into my life, I still love to help others, and that's, that's what I'm shooting for, and that's what I'm reaching out for, is to actually go into counseling, and to just reach out, and I mean, I've been doing it, honestly, just for years, as a friend, or, or an acquaintance that just loves to help and guide people, and it just, you know, it's always moved me. And this past year has been a year that I've really been moving forward with that. And then it just, it just hit, you know, that that is my, my goal. And that's all I'm saying is that we don't know when it's going to hit, when he opens that door, when he says, this is it. But he will, one moment, in his time, he'll strike you with it. As I sit here at the age of 33. <laughs> So, I mean, we all want it at, you know, 23. We all want it at the moment we enter college at 18. My college was totally placed on pause. Um, but, you know, we just have to have that trust and patience, which is a hard word. But he has those plans. And, you know, just know that they will unravel and to stay calm and just to give it to him. And it, those doors will open. So... That's, that's my little, you know, you know, little talk about today is that, you know, I will be moving forward with that and I'm still here and I still love to just talk with everybody and I'm a big prayer warrior. So please, anyone having anything going on, send a prayer my way, whether you um, DM me or just, you know, send it to the replies. Um, just let me know what's going on that I can pray for you. Otherwise, um, know that Jesus hears you and loves you, and he already knows what's going on, but he sure does hear us every which way. Um, so I love you all, and just know that he's got those plans. Just have that faith, and um, definitely pray, and he will keep opening doors. And love you all, and praying for every single one of you when you come, and I know. Otherwise, I'll just pray for you just, just, just as I sit here. Um, otherwise, I love you all and pray that your week is fabulous and your weekend to come is just absolutely just awesome. And so God bless you and talk to you soon. Once again, at Alive in Me.